Hello and welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines with your three lots into the mad. Now, we have a couple of things we still need to achieve here. Now, our next stop should probably be the Sal's place. Though I could also look into Kamikaze Zen. I think that is one of the places I'm after. Yeah, I probably want to do this quietly. I would probably prefer to do this quietly. Because that means less trouble. Though, honestly, let's see. So we're supposed to just go in here. Yeah. Fuck all. Oh. Hmm. Oh, there's standard card here. Now in that case, I'd rather not just slaughter them all. If it was like a gang operation, sure, why not? I do have some respect for. Innocent lives. Mind you, some. Like, not 12, not, not 11, just some. Ooh, this computer is available. Tell me about power. Hooligan? Cool. System XXX. Power of line. Status. Uh, this is stat. Virus detected shutting down system. Ooh. I guess we can look at that other room when we're back. So we have a timer to get to places and to do things. Email. Come on, damn it. Yo, I lost the damn access code to get back into the server room. Can you send it to me again? Oh, and I'm going to kill you tonight in Slaughter Crouch. That's so much bullshit. Like, I ever camped to you, but can I talk to your boy Numbnuts about that? After I resticulate his ass. Okay, we still have ten minutes, uh, like some minutes left. So we can probably just look at every computer, right? Uh, no menus available here. This is just a computer not doing anything. You enjoy your day, sir. Ooh, that, I think he noticed me a little bit. Give him some of the spooks. Yeah, you stupid how many times I have to spend you. Code is 4567 and add up the uh, numbers and get you uh, IQ. The only way you kill me is camp you fucking uber cannon. What? Me and Numnuts gonna smoke you ass. Take your resticulator and show in place where no sun shine. You look numbing nuts muffin. You got it. <gasps> oh my god. Numbing nuts muffin? This is really using a fair bit of blood, isn't it? Just going about looking at different computers. I'm just gonna stand here while you walk past me. You don't even look at like Willem Dafoe. I was gonna say he looks like a cheap Willem Dafoe, but he does not at all. What's this one? Email. This one actually needs a password, but luckily for us, we are pretty good at hacking. Fuck, Pinster, you so ugly when fact secretary spit you on head, ha, huh? and I kill you squishy and slaughter grudge tonight. You hear me? Fuck, Pinster. 
give up the game, Bucky bitch. Your vocabulation ain't gonna help with a warbringer lost in your skull. Never fuck with clan death gurgle. Gurgle, Bucky bitch. That's very nice. Personal. Yes, I have more hacking skills. Manifesto 1. Oh, how I have suffered. The insensitive and illiterate buffoons that surround me are a constant reminder of the sad state of this country. I have solutions. As extreme as they may seem now, history will remember as a visionary. Such is my fate. Is intelligence such a scarce commodity? Today I spoke with Shinto, and somehow he babbled for an entire minute without using one pronoun. Oh God, how I languish. If his eyes weren't so close together, I might have plucked them out. How Larry came to be my supervisor is beyond comprehension. His use of the language notwithstanding, which barely surpasses that of our dear friend Shinto, I can no longer abide his shoddy programming, nor his horrendous security protocols. He spells his last name backwards and uses it for the access code to the bank vault. My kingdom for a baseball bat, I am spent. Okay, that's handy. All right. Where you at, bro? Mr. Security Man? All right. Four, five, six, seven. Oh, this looks nice and casual. All right, what's this one? Net security. Wait, what? Let's get in there. I don't know, need to know his last name. I have a hacking skill. I just read nipple and was like, ah, oh, nice. I like nipples. What? Net security. Oh, right. I just managed to forget that for some reason. Shreknet. You'd best do your job and get the fuck out of the newbie. TikTok, need help? If so, find the office of a guy named Rob Nesser. I'm logged in there and we'll see what I can do for you. Otherwise, you're on your own. Quest complete? What do you mean? What do you mean quest complete? Shouldn't they still be doing things? Ah, oh, the Nosferatu network is up and functional. Uh, right. Already looked into both of those. Now I just need to go to the other side of the room and find something nice from the vault. Maybe a, a money clip. Yeah, that would help. Not much of a vault, is it? It's more like just a room with some boxes. Oh, right. Can't sprint and obfuscate at the same time. Which makes sense, though I could put in some more levels so I could do that. Since obfuscation is actually quite handy. Might be worth thinking about. You have a nice day. Oh, obfuscate ran out. That's fine. I'm nearly done here anyway. Let's just uh, come here. Oh, this computer is not online. And just leave the place. It's fine. It got it nice and over with even before it all went sour. Oh, Mao Long restaurant. I can't go in there. For some reason. But this. Oops. Right. That means lockpicking skill of 10. I did not mean to do any crime. These look like gangster boys. Is it okay if I just kill them all? Hi, I would like your eyeballs. You two just have a nice day? Are you guys all still afraid? Because I 
tried to accidentally go into this building. Stop right, yeah. Police are still interested. Which is not ideal. Anyway, at least I have some tea, I have some time to just wait and think about it. the popo. The goddamn popo. Alright, oh, hello, you're a snack. It's like they are completely disregarding the honor of Precinct 69. Willing to just shoot at a fellow officer. Oh, that reminds me. Shouldn't I switch over to... The real ladder? Oh! Oh! That reduces my lock picking. That's sort of a dick move. It's fine. I guess I can change clothes whenever I need to, you know, pick locks again. So wait, 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 wait. Lock picking is turned by default. It was 8 by default. Does that mean I can take level 10 locks with the uh, office gate? Oh, what's here? Oh, 9 lives, right. Which is not a reference to nines, at all. Huh. Hello again. You are always welcome here. That is very kind of you. These eyes turned out not to be mine. You want them? Mm. Yes. They stare ambitiously. Hello, Lin. Do you like it there? These are an excellent addition to my shop. Here, please accept this as a fair trade. Is it a dead armadillo? I have another task. If it piques your curiosity. Curious? Always. I need you to be a bad luck farmer. Do you know what this is? A trick question? A customer has bought an unlucky talisman from me and wishes it delivered to an enemy of theirs. I need you to place this in the locker of a patron at the Lotus Blossom Massage Parlor so that the bad luck can bloom. Sure. My customer has placed a black circle on his enemy's locker. Plant it to talisman. Bad luck, farmer. <laughs> The harvest is going to be a hu huge this year. I mean, I've already been in there before. And there's a door leading right into the locker room, essentially. So I see absolutely no way that this could go wrong. Hello, miss. Right, so I just need to come over here, go down these stairs. Go in. Well, this still counts as a combat zone. I don't think that's really a concern at all. Is this the Bandak Talisman? Yes, it is. Here you go. Enjoy. Hey! What the hell you think you're doing? That's my locker, hooker! It is mine? No, it is my mistake. Misunderstanding. No misunderstanding. I saw you. What the hell did you put in my locker? You know who I am, huh? You want to die, hooker? Stop jumping around so much, Frog. Time to teach you a lesson about respecting people's property. Oh yeah, Hoka, you in for it now. In for what? Play. Should I fight him or am I the sort of bad luck he just got? Because I can be really bad luck. No, no. I could have left by that door, but you know how it is. Go away. I mean... 
I have successfully put the talisman where it's meant to be, so this is that. I didn't even give this uh, gentleman a bad left hook. Oh, there's more lines about crab nipple. I didn't realize that. I thought it was just a <laughs> crab nipple <laughs> line. But we want to go to Mr. Ox who lives in two buildings that way. Yeah. Hello, Mr. Ox. You are always welcome here. Farmer business. Did the seed take root? You could say it that way. Hmm. I suppose this is what we agreed to. Perhaps bad luck will flower in time. Please, take this payment. Another chore? You are a model employee. Perhaps you can work for me again someday. Until then, keep up the excellent job. And if you ever meet someone on the six paths with a soul to sell, please recommend my shop. Employee of the month? Take that, Dad. How are you doing? You are always welcome here. I oh, wanted something from you. Yes. Never mind. Alright, and our next stop is the warehouse. Which is, I think, around the corner from there. Or maybe not. Maybe I'm just having a lot of bad, uh, bad luck navigating around these parts. No, no, this looks to be the right place. This seems like a very nice place. For a warehouse, anyway. I don't see a forklift anywhere, though. How do you get the boxes onto the higher... higher levels? How do you know a forklift could technically fit in here? But it would not be easy to drive. Uh, between these two? I mean, yeah, okay, I guess you can go around here. This just looks like someone's done half the very shop. Okay. Wong Ho called. You're looking for someone. Hmm. Did I already say that? I'm always saying things like that. I don't know where your friend is, but I know the Tong are involved. The leader of the Tong, Johnny. He'll know where they are. Where is the rat's nest? Johnny's at Glaze. It's his club. You'll need a password to enter. The password is 725. There will be Tong everywhere. Johnny's office is upstairs. Your benevolence is a mystery to me. I am a man of my word, and I owe the debt to Wong Ho. By paying that debt, I have made an enemy of the Tong, who I once belonged to. Wait, they're coming. You should leave now. Do you mind if I eviscerate the few? I'm kind of bored. Excuse me. Priest! Don't be a priest! <laughs> Yeah? That's what, how you wanna roll? I'm rolling gold, but nice goods. They're shooting a lot, aren't they? Let me just drink up a little bit. Everyone have the same voice line in that regard. Where's the shotgun bastard? Get 
in here or something? Somewhere. Oh, they're coming in by the fuck door. This is a very tiny box for a now. I'm causing an absolute mess of the, this gentleman's establishment. You seem to be bugging a little bit. Let me help you with that. Are there more out here? Or did we get everyone? And new mission for future monsters. Right. How are you? If you want to find your friend, I suggest you hurry. That's fair enough. Uh, sorry about the mess. Right. Ooh, a few more experience. 19 experience! That is a lot more than I assumed I had. Okay, let's do some more strength. Yeah. That's good. That means I can now... Wait, I did not buy the katana? Was it denying me the purchase of the katana on the basis of my ability to wield such weapons? Wow, I didn't expect such restrictions on those remedies. Um, well, I guess, you know... This is American Medicare, isn't it? Welcome back! I need a remedy! Give me that sword. Why is he not sending me that sword? Do I have the sword? I do not have the sword. So. Welcome back! Give me the sword. Why will you not give me the sword? I really want that sword. Like, I have the money. Ah. Do I need to up my melee skill even further? Why would he not sell me that thingy? Hmm. Guess we're going to Johnny's uh, place next time, and maybe after that we can actually get our katana. Because I would like to have a big tool for cutting people up. It's good. Like chopping, yeah, nice. But cutting, also good. You know? But swordsmen are very dangerous against vampires, apparently. So yeah, I'll do that next time. Thanks for watching. I'll see you then. Bye bye.